Hi everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to Friendship Shaving. It's great to be here. I hope you're well today. I'm going to be shaving with the winning razor today from the White Shaving Club. Uh, sadly, it's no longer been produced or restocked by them. So uh, I've kind of missed the boat on this because this is the first chance I've had to shave with it on video, but nevertheless, we're going to go with it anyway. I'm going to be shaving with Ariana and Evans's Kaizen today, a very nice citrus opening soap. And uh, I have some already lathered up on my vintage certified brush, which I've restored a boar bristle brush already to go. I'd like to thank Dan Mandingo who uh, asked about Dorco Prime razors. He said that they're an excellent blade and nobody on the video channels seems to be talking about them. Now I have used Dorco Primes before and they are a good blade. I looked in my little blade collection and I haven't got any. I have the uh, Dorco Stainless, I believe these are the 361s, 301s, um, and I have the Dorco Titans, now I seem to remember, these didn't really go so well last time I used them, they were okay but not brilliant, but we're going to use one today and I'm going to try and get hold of some of the new Dorco Primes because they are a good blade. So, we've got a Titan today, and I'm just going to load that into the winning razor, which has a magnet on the bottom of the handle. A really nice touch, um, super easy to load a blade. You can see on the guard plate, there are just some quite small holes drilled. Uh, which I think would be okay for my level of growth, perhaps if you had hairy growth or you were shaving off a beard, um, they might clog up a little bit. But for the shave I'm having today, two days of growth, no problem with that at all. I'll put a washer on and put the handle on and we are ready to go with the winning razor. It is... Um, a slightly unpolished razor, it's not been highly polished, but it's a very nice looking razor, has a very nice feel to it. And let me tell you guys, it is a superb shave, so it's rather a shame in my opinion that they're not selling this anymore. But it is made by Jake from Yates Precision Manufacturing, and his razor, the 9... The 921M, I had to just remind myself there, is a very good razor in a similar vein to this one. So you might like to check that out and I will find the link and put that below. Do you know, my screen seems quite dark today. I hope it's okay when, the vid when you see the video. Now, let's start with this vintage brush with a bore bristle in it. It is a very soft bristle in this brush. It's a, the original knot and uh, it lathered up this Kaizen absolutely beautifully. Now, the Kaizen opens up with notes of Mandarin bergamot lemon peel and neroli now when I first put my nose in and when I was whipping up a lather I'm certainly getting a little bit of the mandarin which is um, a subtle scent anyway uh, but I'm definitely getting touches of the lemon peel just little touches and the neroli coming through, not so much the bergamot. 
although I'm sure that adds to just the overall scent. It's not the brightest, lightest citrus. It's not like a, a massive lemon scent because it is actually tempered a little bit by the other scent notes. Uh, middle notes are honeysuckle, green apple, rose, and tobacco absolute, and it falls down into base notes of Haitian vetiver, sandal, and cedarwood. So, oh, put that somewhere safe. What I'm getting at the moment is just a really nice, a really nice citrus scent. And neroli is the dominant scent of the opening notes, but uh, it's very nice. Now we'll start with this razor. I missed out a little bit. I missed the boat on this uh, in terms of getting it on the channel. It was collected for me along with some other items that I bought by Brian, um, who sent it across to me. So Brian, thank you very much. Do you know, I've just been busy and I've had lots of stuff in and I just haven't had the chance to use this on the channel and I uh, picked it up this week, was really impressed with it and kind of disappointed to see that they weren't selling it anymore. It's a razor in a similar vein to the 921, as I said, from Yates Precision Manufacturing but also a similar vein to the Henson, although I prefer it to the Henson razor. I think it is an absolutely lovely razor to shave with. And uh, guys, if you see one of these secondhand, grab one. Jump at the chance to get one, because they are really, really nice. Just a superb razor, so easy to use. I particularly like this because it is a neutral blade exposure. I feel it will benefit from being polished up a little bit so that might be my next little project um, very nice head shape to use it's a, you know it's really nice the handles nice all in all it's a very nice razor it's quite heavy actually it comes in at um, well 4.21 ounces for you guys in the US but over here it's 120 grams and yet Somehow it doesn't feel that heavy. So I'm actually wondering if I've got that right. I'm pretty sure I have. Its height is, well, its height is 94 millimetres. I nearly said centimetres and I had to think about that and think, no, that's not right. Which is three and seven eighths of an inch. Now, we have something these days called decimal inches. And I don't understand how you can measure an inch as a decimal. Um, you know, because it's 3.704 of a decimal inch. Well that makes no sense to me at all. So it is three and seven eighths of an inch, which is about that much of being four inches long. Um, but it's a very nice length. 
to hold and uh, as I say it shaves superbly it has a blade gap of one of these decimal inches again 0 0.20 inches which I think is five millimeters and I've been looking at that and thinking surely not half a centimetre um, there is quite a large blade gap on here it's a little bit like the Marvel now that's another razor similar shaped head a large blade gap fantastic shave um, you know there's a lot to be said for these razors that have a larger blade gap that are comfortable and easy to use with the neutral blade exposure and of course with the neutral blade exposure it allows you if you wish if you feel you're not getting the best shave with it it allows you to just gently add a little bit of pressure to your shave um, well, I've been doing that with this one just the slightest bit of pressure on my face very 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 lightly guys very lightly it's just a superb razor for me now I nearly forgot and it's a good job I make notes and I write them down because today is the day when we give out the giveaway results you might remember a couple of weeks ago we had in the giveaway a book from the lady from soap commander on how to make soap and that was in the drawer and then we had an absolute load of one ounce sterling samples they're the best samples in the business sterling you get such a lot of soap in their samples so we've got loads of sterling samples split into two boxes and uh, there was a razor and a brush in each box so one box was for the UK and the rest of the world and one box was for the US So we will start with book, the book. I haven't bought them in guys, so just trust me. It's a fabulous little book if you're interested in making soap. And the winner of the book giveaway is David Cuniff. Uh, I hope I've pronounced your name correctly, David. I know you're a regular contribut contributor to the comment section on the channel so well done sir uh, I'll put my email address in for everyone and you can get in touch with me uh, so David that will be going out to you and the winner of the first box the box for the UK which had Gillette Slim Razor in here. I know they're readily available in America. Um, so that is going out to Mr. Edward Banks. So uh, Edward, congratulations on winning box one. And please, sir, if you ever have a daughter or a son, can you name them Robin? Because I think that would be brilliant. Robin Banks. I'm sure you've heard that before. I thought of it when I was put, looking at your name on the random comment picker as your name come up and it just tickled me. So I hope you're not offended. Edward, congratulations. We'll get that box out to you. Fantastic win. And finally, 
box 2, which is the box that's going to the US, has been won by Miguel Vera. Uh, Miguel, thank you very much and congratulations. Well done, get in touch everybody and I'll do my best to get those out as quickly as possible to you. Now, back to this shape. Do you know, two passes with the grain. That is very nice guys, very nice indeed. I'm going to go a third pass, but my face feels fantastic. And on my neck, I've just had a very nice shave so far. This will clear everything up. But it is a lovely, lovely razor, this. Um, I hope Jake modifies the design a little bit and, and brings it out um, as an addition to his 921 razor that is available on the uh, Yates Precision Manufacturing website because this is just a tremendous razor. A little bit thicker handle, a little bit heavier than the 921. But I tell you what, Jake does know how to make a good razor. You know this brush I mean it's years old guys years old decades old in fact and you can see there's a little bit of twist on the bore I presume where it was left in a bowl or used in one direction constantly been trying to get that twist out haven't managed it yet but original knot guys and it's a it's a fantastic brush so if you get an old brush and the knot doesn't look too bad and it doesn't stink to high heaven and uh, just think about keeping it and using it sterilize it of course and then once you use it see I've lost one or two hairs out of that and that's it so all in all, it's a very, very nice brush to use. Now here we go. Swap once. No discomfort at all with this razor, absolutely not. If It was bought out quite cheaply. It's made from stainless steel. I think it's 304 stainless steel rather than 316. Um, I'm not quite sure what the difference is. Perhaps somebody who knows will pop that in the comments. But um, it sold quite inexpensively. Uh, $69 I think it was for you know, for a stainless steel razor. Um, now I'll put the link, the website does have another stainless steel razor uh, available at the same price and it is the America razor. I'm sure you'll have seen that on people's channels and that really does have a, a, an industrial finish. Um, which I'm not keen on, that's why I never got that one. My friend Sven picked it up and uh, I was looking at pictures and kind of went, no, don't like that.
If I had that, you see, I would have to polish it. On the outside, anyway, on the outside. There we are. Do you know what, guys? That's a brilliant razor. I'm sorry I've come to it late. That is an absolutely brilliant razor for me. Now I'm getting a lovely scent now off this soap. Getting a lot more of the florals from the middle scent. I'm definitely picking up a little bit of honeysuckle. But it's not too strong. Very nice soap Kaizen. This, I believe, was the first formulation of the Kaizen base from Ariana and Evans. Thank you to all the gentlemen that, when I got these wonderful soaps given from Mike, that pointed out to me that this was Kaizen because there's no name on it written not written in English anyway, that may be written in Japanese, but oh, that's twice I've done my towel in the sink today. Anyway, I'm going to use a little bit of Nivea Men Protect and Care today. So we'll shake that up, um, have a little discussion in a week. Wilkinson Sword have bought out a new balm, and I've bought some. Um, for £10. Now, it says, the scent notes, it's, it's scented of a mint forest, um, which seemed a bit strange to me. It's certainly minty. There's quite a bit of menthol in initially. Um, I find it a bit of a strange scent. So, Honestly, guys, I don't know if I'll use that. I keep trying it on my hand and sniffing the, the little, it comes in a little plastic thing. Um, I'm really not sure about that. It's a very sweet smell, it's smelly. I thought it might be a fougere, but the sweetness kind of makes me think it's, it's, not, it's not an obvious fougere. Uh, and definitely not with the mintiness. So it's one I'm not sure about. You, if you bought that, let me know what you think of it. I'd be very interested. And um, yeah, anyway, that's my shave, guys. I've had a fantastic shave today, really. Oh, that's got to be nine and a half out of ten. A oh, very close to a perfect shave. So. Look after yourselves. Thanks for being a part of it. I'll see you soon. All the very best now. Cheers.